hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel to go funny don't go back with another reaction video if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back thank you for 21,000 subscribers you guys are the best keep subscribing liking commenting sharing everything that you guys do never goes unnoticed so thank you and i hope you're doing all right and may you stay blessed Find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse. In case you are feeling shy to suggest anything in the comment section below, just go to our socials and hit us up. And our second YouTube channel is Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe, and enjoy the content that we put out. Please don't forget to motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Just give me the name or the link, and I'll look into it. So today I'm going to be reacting to the lgbt so without wasting time let's get into the video so he created you in binaries and he created the animals in binaries and this is again reiterated in surah yasin subhana ladhi khalaqa al-azwaja kullaha mimma tumbit al-ard wa min anfusihim wa mimma la ya'lamun so he created everything in binaries. So who's a non-binary? So isn't it interesting that people want to be called non-binary? In other words, they want to be called God. You can't be a non-binary. Allah made you in a binary uh, condition. And you can't get out of that, no matter how hard you try. You cannot get out of that. You're either a male or a female, or you're a mushkil. And then, interestingly enough, and I will say this, Imam al tahanawi and I don't know how he came up with this, Imam al tahanawi in his famous book on the Mustarahat, when he talks about homosexuality, he said, homosexuality is either tab'i, and then he says, ay jabilli, it's something that is uh, somebody's born with. Or he says it's min al it's something that they have accustomed themselves to. So he actually acknowledges that there are people that are born with this um, predilection and then he said and then he says it could be uh, for reasons and he talks about the possible reasons sometimes related to the parents relationship or the the sexual practices of the parents um, but then he says that and then there are those who only are attracted to the same sex and then there are those who are attracted to both sexes so he identifies the bisexual 250 years ago he identifies the bisexual and then he says something extraordinary that I thought. He says, some of these people are outwardly in the form of men, but in reality, they're women. So there are people in the world that feel they're in the wrong body, which is an immense tribulation. And historically, Muslims were actually, they, these people are very marginalized in Muslim societies, but Muslims are actually quite tolerant of them. They didn't, uh, you know, they, I mean, you'll find these people that they go to weddings and they, um, even in Mauritania, they, they have these people. So these are like mushkid people. But my point being is that Allah is telling us here that we created you, Allah created us in binaries. And you, 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 you have to, you cannot say you're a non-binary if you're a Muslim. You can't say that. It's just not, it's not, it's not acceptable as a Muslim. Now people are going to say, who are you to tell me what's acceptable as a Muslim? Well, I mean, okay, then we just give up religion. It doesn't mean anything. If religion is only what anybody says it is, then what is the religion? It doesn't mean anything. So now you're in pure relativism. And I personally, as somebody that's in a tradition that... Uh, was inherited and transmitted and, and handed down. And I'm just a steward. We're caretakers. And, I'm, I'm, and I'll be the first to admit I'm, I'm a lousy steward compared to the people that went before. I'll be the first to admit that. But this is what we have. This is what I was given. My shiuch taught me. And then I'm supposed to teach other people. And then people are going to come after me and they'll teach. And then inshallah, you know, it's a great honor to be a link in a chain. But that's all you are. And if, if you're a weak link, you know, that's uh, tragic for you. But my point is, there is a normative Islam. You can't just make up the religion and say what you think it is or what you want it to be. because It's called Islam, which means submission. It's not called 
uh, whatever I want. That's not the name of the religion. It's called Islam. What are you submitting to if you decide what it is? What are you submitting to? I mean, that's a question for people to ask themselves. A very reasonable question. What are you submitting to if you yourself get to decide what something is? You know, um, another thing I was thinking when watching this is, are there any practicing Muslims that actually identify or live among the people and say, I'm actually bi, I'm actually lesbian, I'm actually gay, you know? And what have been the responses of the masses around, the people around? Um, it's a tricky one because I just reacted to Muhammad Hijab and he said something like you can't control the way someone feels. So if I'm if not I, but if someone else is feeling that they love the same sex as them, should we crucify them for that? Or we're just going to accept whatever they're feeling? He then went on to say that what well, but when they partake in certain actions, then now the Quran says no you know i agree with the fact that it's already a religion that's established we're not working towards establishing it so why should you make rules as you go when it was established 1400 years ago it's more like changing the rules as we go at the end of the day won't the religion be full of adjustments and you as a human why should you make adjustments if you know god already gave you the guideline to life that's something worth um thinking about so what can i do in this situation so yeah this person and you're feeling these feelings feelings towards someone of the same sex how can i go about them if you're practicing muslim how can i um i don't know Otherwise, we need a lot of education in this world to understand certain things and how they affect religions and how they add to religions, you know. It's not all good and bad. Sometimes it's good that comes from something. But we shouldn't have to change the word of God because you want to identify as something. You identify as that something, but... Um, don't make it seem like what existed before has no grounds to stand on you know and i mean it's a lot it's a lot otherwise people should be free to live as they choose let me know what you guys actually think about this video it was actually very very short let me know what you think please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to just give me the name or the link down below and I'll be sure to check it out. Uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time.